Welcome back to another outtake of C Sharp Design Strategies with John Ski here at Tech Pub. While recording the single responsibility principle episode, I made the mistake of asking John a simple question, or what I thought was a simple question, and it derailed us. As soon as you try to use uint everywhere, you get brokenness because you'd be fighting against the system. But can an array have negative length? Uh, no. It can potentially so. have, uh, if you use the array type, array, array2 equals um, array dot create instance, is it? Uh, yeah. Um, so we can have a type of string, and I'm going to create one that's a single, so a length of five, um, but with a lower bound of minus one. What? <laughs> and that's possible. That's possible. Um, and we can do uh, I list. Um, I don't think we can do I list uh, list of T at this point, um, but we can do that. And so we can say um, int, uh, no, string let's just assign something string minus one equals foo and that should be okay um assert the r equal uh foo list minus one we should be able to get that out again so i've completely changed changed the meaning of this test but never mind that all passes so you you know array indexes can be negative um please don't do this as ever <laughs> <laughs> That's so I, crazy. You know what? You know what I think, Skeet. I mean, it just all needs to be dynamic. <laughs> oh, so we could make this dynamic instead. That would be fine. Um, oh, now we've got compiler errors. Uh, it's probably system. Sorry, it's probably the Microsoft one that's uh, that's missing at the moment. Oh, now this fails. I have no idea why this would fail. Um, so you know, take your dynamic stuff. <laughs> It all fails. <laughs> that is weird. Um, Why is it failing? This is interesting. Why oh, is it failing? Um, wow, because for some reason it's trying to cast. So what I didn't show is that we can't cast this to a, a C-sharp kind of array. Um, bang equals string what? array two because it's not one. So this, this will throw an illegal cast exception. Um, because even though this is a uh, one-dimensional array, um, it's it's a different type in the CLR because it's got a non-zero lower bound. So if I change this to zero, then the cast will succeed and we'll get down to here that goes bang because minus one is no longer valid. Basically, the CLR has two kinds of arrays. Um, and as soon as you've got either a rectangular array, you know, more than one dimension or a non-zero lower bound, um, the CLR says, oh, I can't do this highly optimized thing that's actually called vector internally. Um, and a string array in C sharp terms has to be a vector in, uh, in CLR terms. So that's <laughs> arguably this is, said. <laughs> uh, this is another example of arrays aren't as simple as you think they are. <laughs> Whatever so... you just said. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I didn't mean to go into this. Um, how did we get into this? Right. Yeah, so you went. Um, so yeah, it. it you know.